Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I'm covering Selling Sunset, Season 3, Episode 6. One text changes everything. <gasps> Such a good episode. We're going to get into the Chriselle and Justin of it all. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And why everybody hates Davina. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island, like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So the episode starts out at the Four Seasons Hotel and we see Chriselle, who is obviously a mess. At the end of last episode, they find out in the press that Justin Hartley has filed for divorce. And we really get into it this episode. And I find it all so fascinating. I just think she's so stunning, even when she's crying here. And I'm so happy that in real life she's on Dancing with the Stars and seems happier. And it's just so shitty what she's had to go through. So let's get into it. Mary comes over and brings her beautiful flowers. And Chriselle is just, I mean, she's a wreck. She found out during filming... Uh, about her husband leaving her and it's so messed up according to Grishel, he broke with he broke up with her over text how crazy is that they broke a mar he broke a marriage over text so she's saying she's in shock and she's trying to keep it together everybody in the world found out when she did she said that they had had a fight that morning but she didn't really think about it. You know, they, they just hadn't had time to make up yet. And he went and filed. So she's just devastated. And Mary is being so sweet. She's been through divorce. She's trying to help her. But what do you do with something like that? You can just see that Chrishell is in a dark place and she's reeling. And I know there's two sides to every story. But I'm going to choose to believe Chrishell here. So that's the only side we have right now. So that's what we're going with. It's just so crazy just to not know and to not have closure like that. And Mary's asking, like, have you had any communication? And no, it sounds like he cut it all off. And they talk through lawyers. Oh, that's terrible. She's saying that basically, I mean, it comes up about people leaving people when they shoot to fame. And, and, and that's what sounds like happened. He got that this is us and started making a lot of money and everything changed and oh so sad and i didn't even think about this mary brings up that she's a stepmom oh gosh so sad come back to it when amanda vis amanda visits but oh just broke my heart for her it really did that's tragic i mean regardless of what actually happened it's just tragic when people break up like that and and go through a divorce it's awful then we go over to Christine's house. Her house is gorgeous. It's a little too modern for my taste, but it's beautiful. What the hell is Christine wearing? What is this? What, what's going on here? I mean, what's this hair? What's this look? I don't get it. It looks like uh, an extra from Clueless or something. I don't, I don't, very strange. Well, Davina and Maya come over, and again, Christine is in this outfit. I just can't get over that. So they start talking about the Chrishell and Justin thing and how shocked they are about it all. And this is where I think people really turned on Christine and especially Davina. Um, I really like Maya, so I don't want to lump her in with this because I don't think she really did anything wrong. But they're talking about it. And the shitty thing is, is um, Davina is saying it's hard to be supportive in Team Chrishell because she's so guarded. And... Christine's saying, you know, I don't know how he's feeling. And Davina chimes in and says, I want to ask, did you really have zero idea? And Christine's saying, I don't believe someone files out of the blue because you had a bad day. Oh, man. So that's where that rift really starts. And yeah, there's two sides to every story, but come on. She's our pretend reality friend. So we have her back, and this is pretty shitty, because what if they, what if something happened to Christine and um, Christian, and Chriselle took this approach and said these things, she'd be really pissed, rightly so. 
So then they change over to Fennel Place. This is a 3,000 square foot, $3.5 million house that Heather and Amanda have been working on. One hundred and five thousand dollar commission, yes, please. And they're staging it before their open house. So if you remember, Amanda's been working to get her kids, so Heather covered for her and got all this art. Unfortunately, they're supposed to have more art, but not all of it was sent over. It sounds like maybe some of it sold. So Amanda is like, Oh, I would have gotten more art, but they end up working well together. They make it work, they hang it up. I don't personally love the art but I like the pop of color and it adds to the you know it takes away from the white walls it, it gives us something pretty to look at then we go over to Mary and Romaine's house and oh things are tense there so Mary is still shaken by this Chriselle thing so she uses it to bring up the issue she's having with Romaine she found out that at his bachelor party uh girls were brought up to the room now it does sound like it was the tiny twins who did it, not Romaine, but um, she's pissed. She said she has one rule, and it's don't bring girls up. And he's like, well, we had a suite, so I couldn't stop them from bringing girls up. I didn't bring girls up. So I, I get both sides of the story. The problem is, is he didn't tell her about it. She found out later, so she's pissed. Then we see Chriselle's new house, and there's paparazzi outside. There's a moving truck, and it's awful. And I tell you, you know... I actually, I felt, I really liked Amanda more in this scene. Before, I thought she was a little bit of a shit stern. She still kind of is. But she was so sweet to Chriselle. She knew Amanda's been through a divorce, and she knew how hard it was, especially on moving day. So she showed up for a friend and brought her all this stuff and tried to talk it through with her and distract her and just be there for her. And it was a sweet scene, and oh. I felt for Chriselle because she was breaking down because she's losing her stepkid too. She said she wrote a letter to her. Um, it's just tragic. So Amanda was being very kind to her and, you know, relating to her. And it, it was nice to see, especially after Christine and Davina were being such bitches. So poor Chriselle. I just, uh, I really like her. I feel for her. I feel like this is genuine emotion. Sometimes I feel like this show is a little bit staged, but this... It just felt really real, like she's really breaking down. So then we go over to the open house for Amanza and Heather. And you know what I found out when I was looking up Amanza? Did you know that she dated Tay Diggs? Hello. <laughs> wow. So hot. Okay. Uh, Tiny Twin comes over, I don't know which one, and he's like, hey, you know, we invested a lot in this house from our concierge service. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> so he's happy that they worked well together. The other realtors come over as well as to the homeowner. They're showing it off to clients. They're talking and saying how great it looks. Then Chris Shell comes up. M Mary explains that she's in shock, you know, and, uh, yeah, Davina seems incredulous, whatever. We go over to the office, and one of the tiny twins is there, and in walks Chriselle. She's obviously still very upset, and again, I just, I feel for her. She, I don't, I think, I think America kind of did the same thing when they watched this. It seems to be that most people are on Chriselle's side. They hate Davina. In fact, just got news that Davina will not be on next season of the show, so yay. <laughs> Um, but Chriselle explains that she's just got to go home. She's got to get back to her family and just get away from all this nonsense for a while. And, and the tiny twin was really sweet to her and was like, take all the time you need, weeks, months, you'll always have a desk. I'll handle your work while you're gone. All good. Everybody comes in and gives her hugs and they're sweet to her. Some of them are pretending, some of them are really sweet to her. Now, did you notice the weirdest thing? Christine says the weirdest thing. She says, honestly, guys, she lost 15 pounds. I'm not even kidding. And I say that because, yeah, they're all very thin. And that would be something that she would notice. That's all I'm saying. Um, Mary is genuinely upset, as is Amanda, Amanza. And that's how the episode ends. Such a good episode. So interesting to see more details of the Chriselle and Justin and all that stuff that went on. I mean, it just has to be crushing to get dealt this while filming. I mean, and Chriselle just addresses it and, oh, it's just a lot. But anyway, great episode. 
Really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Please leave me comments below. I love reading every single one of them. Or you can find me on Twitter at Real Recaps. And I appreciate it so much. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.